It's almost here. 20 Days of Amino Acids, 2024 edition. Amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. Protein letters, you might say. There are 20 different common, genetically encoded, proteinogenic amino acids. Whoosh, that's a mouthful. Basically, there are 20 main amino acids that our bodies use to make proteins, and they have the instructions for putting those amino acids together to form proteins in the form of genes, with different genes encoding or having the instructions for making different proteins. Different proteins are going to be made up of different combinations of amino acids, and these amino acids have different properties, and thus the proteins that contain them are going to have different properties. These range from differences in size to differences in properties like hydropathy, which is basically how much water likes to hang out with them. So if they're hydrophilic, water is going to want to hang out with them. They're going to be on the surface of proteins, whereas hydrophobic things are typically going to be in the center of proteins because water is going to exclude them. So something as simple sounding as hydropathy is actually going to influence greatly how a protein folds and then how the protein folds is going to influence how it functions. And then some of these amino acids will have special functional groups, so basically little parts that can do cool things. So we'll talk about each of these amino acids one day at a time. Each day I will uncover one amino acid and tell you a bit about it, including those things like those properties, as well as where we can get these amino acids from. So a lot of them we can make ourselves, we call them non-essential. There are others that we need to get through our diet. We call these essential amino acids, but even the non-essential ones we still really need, we can just make them ourselves. We'll talk about some of the things that we can use them for, in addition for using them for proteins. Also talk about a little bit the history of those amino acids. And so that's what to expect in the month of December. I have a lot of content on these that I've built up over the years, and so in addition to hopefully doing some short little videos, I'll also direct you to some longer videos and some blog posts. I've got a busy few weeks, and so thankfully I've got all this content stored up, and well, these amino acids, they're pretty classic. And yes, although there are just those 20 kind of common ones, I'll tell you about a couple of uncommon or not genetically encoded or ones that we don't have, those sorts of things, if you stick around till the end. So even though it's 20 days of amino acids, I would plan for having a couple extra on the end. So you can follow along with this on Instagram or on Facebook, and I will probably post some little short videos, but no promises. So. There you go, the Biochemical Advent Calendar. Hope you enjoy.